today we're exploring the simple solution to one of the biggest reasons why many people fail to use progressive single leg calisthenics, shrimp squats, pistol squats, even lunges and Bulgarian split squats, adequately enough to build up their legs uh, strength and muscle. And the challenge that we're often facing is because when we are facing some sort of basic movement pattern, there are three assets to every exercise we do. There's strength, there's stability, and there's mobility. Now, all three of those are crucially important, but if you're lacking in one of them, it's gonna hold back the development of the other two. The unfortunate reality is a lot of us don't have the stability and oftentimes the mobility required to adequately challenge our strength. Well, largely because one, we're sitting all the time, and two, we're coming to this progressive calisthenics thing with a lot of history of things like very stabilized types of leg training, like leg presses and stuff that don't require hardly any sort of stability and minimal mobility. So these areas are woefully lacking. Then when we do exercises that require it, that's our weak link. And that's why a lot of people will say that's great for building balance and stability, but it won't help you build strength, which is absolutely true. So what can you do about this? Well, here's the simple solution that I use is I almost always recommend doing particularly like pistol or shrimp squats with some sort of an upper body support. Using upper body support solves all of these problems, largely because now the stability and to some degree, the ability to get into a deeper squat is by the responsibility not of our legs, which don't have it, but the upper body. So that way we have complete access to the exercise in a very safe, very controlled way. So we're not relying on our joints to really carry too much force, but at the same time, we can progress how much assistance we have with that arm as our legs become more comfortable with the stability and the mobility aspects of the exercise. This strategy also gives you the ability to work your legs a heck of a lot harder to maximize the ability to develop strength and muscle. And one of the biggest mistakes that people often make with upper body support is they fall too far backwards and they're basically holding themselves up with their arms. We don't want this to happen. We want to still maintain as much weight as possible on the squatting leg and use this as just a minimum amount of support. So I'm not falling back against my arms. So instead, we want to engage that pulling action because squats are a pulling exercise to some degree and have the leg do the work so the arms are barely involved. When we can move closer or further away to adjust, we can also move our arms to a lower position which makes it much more difficult as well, have less assistance, and of course, just how hard you're holding onto it. So if you're death gripping onto it, you're gonna have more assistance from your upper body. And a very light grip, maybe just holding on with a few fingers at the bottom, means that your leg is now working a heck of a lot harder. So using upper body assistance, whether you're grabbing onto something horizontal or vertical, basically solves all these problems. You can work on a deep squat without losing control. You can improve your stability by assisting yourself with your arms. And you can also make sure that as much weight as possible is right on that leg rather than falling forwards or backwards, compromising your technique and the resistance of the exercise. If you want to learn more, I highly recommend checking out my book, Grind Style Calisthenics, where I have six levels of progressive leg training from super easy to ridiculously hard and everywhere in between that uses a lot of upper body assistance to help you manage these sorts of things, as well as other exercises, of course, for the entire body to help you make it as easy as possible to push your muscles to a very high level with basic progressive calisthenics. Also videos here to help you as well. Thank you very much for watching. Check out comments and questions down below. Be fit, live free.